what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about i know what you did last summer in this video here again today more specifically the legacy sequel that we know is coming next july from sony freddie prince jr has officially signed on to return as ray bronson in the upcoming film deadline has exclusively revealed this news today it says freddie prince jr has officially joined sony's i know what you did last summer sequel film reprising the role of ray bronson from the original 97 movie and its 98 sequel sources revealed to deadline Deadline revealed Prince Jr. and his co-star Jennifer Love Hewitt were negotiating to return for the franchise continuation project when it was confirmed to be in development in early 2023. Hewitt is still very much in negotiations to reprise the role of Julie James, we hear. The previously announced cast includes Chase Wonders, Madeline Klein, Sarah Pigeon, Tyreek Withers, and Jonah King. Plot details for this latest installment are unknown. Now, we also know Jennifer Caton Robinson is directing the follow-up to the horror film franchise written by Sam Lansky and Caton Robinson from a draft by Liam McKendrick with Neil Mortz producing. The film is supposed to come to theaters July 18, 2025. So I will say this. It's nice that he is back, but we know that he in the past has talked about how the negotiations were always going well. They hadn't had a bad day since the whole negotiation process had been ongoing and now the deadline is exclusively revealing he signed on that means that he's gotten what he needed through the negotiations and i'm certain that of course had to do with pay and hopefully i say hopefully because it's of course it's not always the case but hopefully it also has to do with how ray is utilized in this film the usage of the legacy stars is becoming very important to me because of the rumored details that are out there and the source of the information which i know to be 100 percent credible when it comes to those rumored plot details so far it's becoming quite difficult but exciting also in ways to pinpoint how they would factor into the story but it also would appear that perhaps your story can work without the legacy stars because right now it doesn't seem like they are going to be the ones leading the story which is fine but it's also been made clear that characters like julie are going to be important to the story itself I guess the other problem I'm having is the fact that Julie, out of all the legacy stars they're trying to get back, because we know Carla is another one, Julie's the only one that's been made out to be of any sort of significance to the story. That's not to say that Ray, by extension, won't have any significance, but what is Ray going to be up to? What is Ray going to be doing? Is this downfall of Julie James that potentially will unfold? during this film also implicate ray in some capacity and that's why he gets involved i mean both of them did lie when the cops asked them do they know why this man wanted to come after them and they they lied and said they had no idea they didn't talk about what happened the year prior when they ran him over left him for dead they lied about it so that's the only thing i can see connecting ray at this point going off of what we have heard about the characters from myself it doesn't sound like anyone is related to these past stars one character in particular a ava she herself goes out of her way to talk about what happened in Southport over 30 years ago and doesn't talk about it as though anyone involved in it is a relative of hers. She could be hiding the fact that she's related to one of them, but the way they've been talking about the incident in Southport and the whole legacy of what happened with Ben Willis, these people don't seem like they're going to be related to Ray, Julie, or even Carla. So it begs the question, why do you go to them? At best right now, I can only predict that they're going to go to them because somebody is copying the formula, costume, everything that has to do with that fisherman. And they're going to go to them just for that reason. That sounds hollow. I hope that's not the case, but that's literally the only thing I can predict right now. There has to be something substantial, I would hope, in the mix that gets the legacy stars involved because when you think about the already stacked cast of regulars that they are they announced a few weeks ago again it just begs the question you need to focus on them too you need to build them up you need to get me invested in them because it's clear the story is going to be about them there's some sort of wedding that's going on uh something with crypto money a lot of things a climate influencer all these things i've talked about so you're going to need to build these new stars up and I'm, i can commend someone for not trying to lean too heavy on the past but if you're bringing in the past, what good is the past going to be good, used for? I just don't I'm not a fan of that bringing in stars just for the sole purpose of nostalgia. You know, a lot of people talk about how Sidney Prescott wasn't used well in Screen 5. You know, I'm starting to chalk that up to when I see people say that they compare it to screen time. Screen time doesn't necessarily mean you had great usage. There's a lot of moments in Screen 4 where Sydney is kind of just on screen wandering around. Yeah, she's there more, 
doing what though? It's far more significant, her usage in one through three and even five. Those make much greater use of her than screen four. I don't wanna see these people just wander around on screen and say, hey, you know what? That, that was a box we needed to check to get the legacy stars back. So that way people like yourselves who grew up with those first two movies can go out and see the movie. Yeah, but now it's time for me to judge how you use these stars. Did you make quality use of them? And if not, that's not a home run. That's just you checking a box and you wanted to get people into the theater. And again, I get it from a business perspective, but now it's also time to write something of quality for them. So I would hope there is something substantial that will be tackled when it comes to whatever it is that ties into who Julie James is as it's been proposed in an area of social media when there are no secrets. Is it gonna be some sort of exposure of Julie and Ray's lie? What's going on here with, with Ray? Are Julie and Ray even married? There's so many things that are up in the air when it comes to their usage that I feel is very important. You don't wanna just bring characters back and put them on screen and think that's enough. It might be enough for someone who does not care about usage and quality. I can understand that not everyone cares about quality, but there are a select few of us, myself included, who do like to engage with how you use characters we like because we want to see if you're still using them in a way that makes sense are you justifying their presence here especially again knowing you are going to lean on a new crop of characters to lead us into the future you're taking the scream 2022 approach scream 2022 did a fine job incorporating the legacy star so i would hope i know what you did last summer can do the same thing i just think it's going to be a little bit harder this time around for this film without knowing enough but hopefully as much more as we learn i'll start to feel a little bit more differently about bringing in these legacy stars because right now i will remain on the fence until proven otherwise but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video